Hey guys, so there's been a new update, and prepare, this is going to be wild. Uh, are you ready? This is one of the bug fixes. Oh my god, look at the display. Next to the steering wheel, it says 8th gear now. It didn't before. They fixed that. Isn't that amazing? See? It'll show 8th gear now. It's really wild. Oh, well. Uh, also, they've added two car packs. That you have to buy. Can buy. Have to buy. That I apparently already have. Uh, if you have the car pass, you don't need this. And if you don't have the car pass, you don't need this. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to... Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I was supposed to get people to buy this, aren't I? Hmm. Okay, well, let me go through the cars. This one, the British Sports Car Pack, contains the 62 Triumph TR3B, the 70 Triumph TR6 PI, the 2018 TVR Griffin, mm, okay car, 1938 MGTA Midget, 2004 Vauxhall VX220 Turbo, and the 2018 Aston Martin Vantage. The Aston Martin, okay car. The rest, not okay car. So, is it worth it? No. Then you have this one, which contains, this is the Become One with the Mud. And no, I am not making this up. This is what they use as the sell point. Become One with the Mud. With the Forza Horizon 4 Any Terrain Car Pack! Exclamation mark. This car pack is packed full of some of the best rally cars, UTVs and SUVs, all purpose built for taking on adventurous off road terrain. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, this car, uh, car pack, crap pack, contains the Can M Maverick, useless car, Alfa Romeo Stelvio Quattrofoglio, that's an okay car, Hoonigan Gymkhana 10 Ford Escort Cosworth Group A, crap car. Porsche uh, 185959 Pro Drive Rally Raid, crap car. Honda Civic Coupe GRC, crap car. So is this car pack worth it if you don't have the car pass? No, very much no. Both of these car packs are, well, I was going to put in a sound effect here. But most of you would probably not recognize that sound effect. It would be the sound of a cow being milked. Because that is what they're doing here. They are milking the cow. No doubt about it. Don't get these two car packs at all. It is a waste of money, time, effort, everything. Even your bank is going to go, oh god, really? He did that? Oh god. Uh, don't do it. Do not do it. It is really, really not worth it. Um, if you want something, get the car pass. Wait for it to be on sale. It'll probably be on sale at uh, uh, come near Christmas. So get it there. Do not get these two because both all, all of the cars in here are part of the car pass. So yeah, if you get the car, uh, get these two, and then later on get the car pass, you will have wasted your money. So don't do it. Do not do it. And uh, what else is fixed? Uh, yeah, they made two changes to ranked online adventure. Uh, used to be that in order to in order to get started, if you haven't done anything. You need to do quick play adventure in one team racing, team games, or uh, free for all. 
until you level up to level three i think it is in online racing then you would open up ranked qualifying and you would have to do 10 of each of these to qualify for all of them now you only have to do one so yeah i guess that's stupid um <laughs> what else oh yeah the big one the number of cars you can have has increased to 1000 i know oh my god did they increase the the amount of tunes and paint jobs we can have no so it's only garage size yeah so it's really useless yeah um, yes and no uh, you may not be able to ha share as many tunes uh, as you'd want to but at least you can now have uh, like for instance uh, my collection of TZ2s I have an S1900 an A800 and a B700 now you can do that with more cars where they're pre-tuned so you don't uh, when somebody invites you for something or you, if you're oh my god i want to do online racing and it pops up and it's what i know a800 winter dirt racing oh god i don't have a tune on my car crap now you can have two cars so you have one pre-tuned ready to go uh and yeah i would actually have liked more if they increased the amounts of tunes and paint jobs we can have but you know what i mm -hmm. can't have everything i guess uh the car reset timer is now more lenient giving pla players a better chance to recover if the car flips out of control so if you flip your car on the roof usually uh, or they lowered the the time uh, from you know when when you're just about to land on all four car, uh, tires again and ready to go, it would reset you 50 yards back. Uh, it's a little bit more lenient now. Um, let's see. Uh, da -da -da -da. What else? Oh yeah, matchmaking times have been reduced for all quick play and ranked adventures. Right, I haven't tested that yet, but it remains to be seen. And then they added showcase remixes. Oh my god, and they did a good job this time. Um, let's see, they have um, <laughs> Supersonic versus Superfast. So that's the 812 Superfast versus the Delta Wing, which we've done before, but it's brand new. And we've never done it before, apart from that one time. So, yeah. Uh, the other one that is brand new and has never been... Oh, God. It's the Halo experience. And guess what? You're driving the Warthog. But what changed? Well, this time it rains. And that's really it. Yeah. So... Uh, another change is that the photo challenge can now be done while in the race. Um, why you would do this, I don't know. I was not aware this was an option we needed, but yeah, there you go. Uh, the new cars we're going to get. As you probably know, it's going to be the Bentley Turbo 8, which is a 90s car, weighs about... You know, if you go out at night and there's a nice full moon and you look up and you see that big full moon, that weighs about the same as the Bentley. It's true. Uh, and then we're going to have an electric Jaguar. Yay. Uh, it's the I-Pace thingy. So basically what we're getting is that one, electric. Is it the racing version? No. And the last car, I can't remember. And I probably don't care anyway. 
so once again they're gonna add new stuff and not fix anything well apart from the Lamborghini here um, which has been very much fixed it'll it is now able to display the number eight uh, in the speedometer it is really special I mean hang on while I get out on some road here and Oh, any second now, any second now. Ooh, it's getting close. There it is. Now, don't say they never do bug fixes. The display on the Lamborghini Urus will now show eight. Oh my God, and I'm so not used to driving. Go away. And that's it, really. Uh... So basically, not really anything. I mean, the garage size thing is a good thing, for sure. I'm kind of hoping that the uh, amounts of tunes and paint jobs that we get also will be increased. But as far as I know, they are not being increased. It's only the garage size, sadly. But that's it. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow when I'm going to do some racing. Yay. So, thanks for watching. Bye.